Good boy, Rumble. Good boy. You're a good boy. Dr. Sarah Boston grew up in Saskatoon, attended the Western College of Veterinary Medicine at the U of S, and has become a highly successful veterinary surgical oncologist in Florida, where she lives with her family. But despite all of her success, when she got sick, she envied the life of her dog, Rumble, who was rescued from a shelter. The book started with me saying, I wish I were a dog, and that's really what just got me thinking about this and contrasting those two medical systems. Dr. Boston's book, Lucky Dog, tells the story of discovering what she believed to be cancer in her thyroid, based on her experience treating the disease in animals. Her envy of her patients stemmed from the frustration she felt in seeking treatment for her illness in both the Canadian and American healthcare systems. I, I do think though that there are things that the Canadian healthcare system can learn from veterinarians. Uh, there's, there's things that they can learn about how we're compassionate with our clients, how much more time we spend with our clients. We give a lot of options for care and we really focus on quality of life more than quantity of life. Dr. Boston believes there are several reasons for the differences between animal and human healthcare. There are fewer animal patients and their treatments are paid for by their owners. She says one of the main reasons she wrote the book is to encourage people to do what they can to ensure they receive the same level of treatment as their furry friends. We have inherent advocates in our patients because they come attached to clients and they have to advocate for them, but that's something else that we can learn, that if you're a patient, you need someone to help you if you're not able to advocate for yourself and you can't be complacent about your health. You need to take charge, ask the right questions, find good sources of information. Now fully healthy, Dr. Boston has been traveling around sharing her story, which included this recent stop in her hometown. And while book tours can be a grind, she has some pretty good company. You're so handsome. You are. I have had moments where I think this is insane. Um, what am I doing? But he's handling it pretty well. And because I'm so busy with my work, I've never been able to spend so much time with him. And I'm actually really enjoying it. And he's, he's doing well. For Campus Life, I'm Simon Hyatt.